Hello, welcome to the channel Dean's Destination, a van life channel where me and my dog Zach and Tia travel around the UK. Last year, after a breakup, I found myself living with family, so I bought a small van and began converting it into a camper van. After running out of room, I decided to seriously gain some more space and live in a van full time. So join us and see where we end up this week on Dean's Destination. So it's eight o'clock and the van needs to be dropped off at half eight. I'm gonna quickly get dressed. I've literally just woke up um, and set off. Oh, I'm tired this morning, I don't wanna get up. But needs must. <laughs> So we've just dropped the van off at the tow bar centre and they're gonna um, just connect the light board for the for the electric so that when I indicate and break the tailboard the tailboard works which just makes it safe. Um, so yeah they're gonna do that today. It should be finished before one o'clock. But until then we're homeless. <laughs> we don't have anywhere. Um, my mum's coming to pick me up. So we're just we're just sat on the path now waiting for her to get here. It's cold this morning, isn't it? So we're all huddled up and keeping warm. <laughs> right then, so I've just collected the van and the, the actual light board works now. So the indicators work, the brakes work, everything works. And yeah, so it's going to be a lot safer. And it also means that I can put on the bike cover and you're going to be able to well you're not going to be able to see these lights but you are going to be able to see these um, so yeah people aren't going to be crashing into the back of me when I'm breaking things which which is always a bonus because I'm going to say already I'm fed up with people crashing into me and it's only happened the once so yeah that's that for now great stuff happy with that Good morning everyone, uh, welcome to this week's episode. Um, so yeah, have a look where I woke up this morning. So actually it does look similar to where I stopped uh, before, but I'm actually at a place called Great Heck. Great Heck, it's not too far from York, it's closer to Goole, Selby, and if, you, if you're really local, it's not far from Pollington and Snaith. But yeah, Doncaster, uh, for those of you living further away than Doncaster. And it's it's a great little spot. I'm going to take the dogs out now, so I'll, I'll quickly show you outside where I stopped last night and I'll explain what I'm going to be doing today. So, this is where I stopped. There's like, um, it's just a car park really. Over the other side there's a marina for the boats. But yeah, it's basically just the fisherman's car park. Yeah, and I don't think they closed that off last night either. I'm pretty sure the car park stayed, the gate stayed open all night. So this is basically where I've been parked all night and it was really quiet. But anyway, um, obviously got plans today and that is to go mountain biking like I said I would last week. So the bike's on the back already but I am going to go pick my brother up um, and 
chuck his bike on there as well and then I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go. We could end up going to a bike park maybe. Or maybe we'll just have a, a ride locally near where he lives because he lives on the Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, but I'll find out when I get there. I just need to set off. Right, so we've got the bike ready. I'm going to set up. So we're going to set off now. We're going to go down the Trans Pennine Trail, which is just behind my brother's house. Uh, literally just down a ginnel down there. Um, rather than driving anywhere now, because it's still, it's still getting dark early. So at least if we go this way, we get more time on the bike. So I'm going to set off now. Did you just go where we normally go? <laughs> Too wet and slippy. Had to go up then, but back wheel just skidded because it's wet. <laughs> So we're on the Trans Pennine Trail now, and there is, we know there's like a, a really like steep cliff, not cliff, but just a really steep hill really that's quite slippy. Uh, it's just up here. So you've got like this track that goes up, then it cuts off over there into the trees and then goes up and it gets really steep up at the top there. It's quite high up. And also the, uh, it's quite boggy at the moment as well, so it's going to be quite slippy. We've just got to go around the back side to get up there because you can't actually get up that side, it's too slippy. So we'll have a walk around there. So we cycled past this a few times, but we've never actually come up until now. Put that glove on there. I'm just wondering, well, Dale's wondering what it used to be used as, so I wonder if I can have a look inside. Some bricks stacked up here that I could stand on maybe. Ooh. Oh, it's quite big actually. Ooh. Oh, now I've got to let go. <laughs> it's big, the tunnel. Yeah. yeah, but I can't imagine there being train tracks ever here. I wonder if there used to be a road. Massive, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder where the other side is and if anyone's ever managed to get in. Because if there's a doorway there, there'll be a, a doorway for that somewhere, won't there? Unless I've filled it in. So we're just cycling down here and we just noticed this like pretty steep to be honest, let me put my bike down. I can tell you it's a day to hold. <laughs> it's like a bit of a, 
rock face, so I'm just going to ride down it. It's not too steep. <laughs> Have a go now. What I'll probably do is this one film it in 60 frames per second and see if I can get a good slow mo on it. <laughs> Easy that, isn't it? <laughs> Watch that twig there pointing at your head. <laughs> Whoa! So we've just got to this, it's really really tall, really slippy and it's really rutted as well. We've tried doing these before but getting through these ruts is really difficult so I'm going to give it a go anyway and see how I get on. It doesn't look steep on here but it really is. <laughs> so I just jokingly said to Dale, are you going to have a try? And he said yeah, so he's going to have a try. <laughs> What a legend. I can't believe that. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Not embarrassed at all. Grew up riding mountain bikes, he grew up playing rugby. And he's just bested me. <laughs> what chance does he think when he gets back up? He'll ask if I'm doing it again. Bet he does. So I'm still waiting for him to come back up and honestly, I'm fuming, he's done it. <laughs> I'm fuming. <laughs> Here he is now, look. Let's see if he does a Jeremy Clarkson smug face. I doubt it, he's quite modest actually. Now he's doing it already. <laughs> it's kind of squirrely, weren't it? Uh -huh. You see how I drifted around that car and both wheels just <coughs> drifting around it. Do you think you actually like had control or do you think you just fluked it down? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try it again then, aren't I? Just don't pull your brake, just roll and roll with it. I know, but I was just I was scared of getting to that corner and having to brake and just just locking up, so 
I didn't break at all, I just went down. I only braked when I got past that turn. You know, it straightened up. Yeah. I braked a bit for that left hand. Uh. <sighs> Might be more nervous now doing it second time. So I know what to expect. <laughs> Your foot got trapped in a bramble. Look at it back, it's like a forest. The, um, ran out of batteries while I was cycling earlier so I didn't get to film everything which is a shame as well because um, I actually did manage to go down that hill in the end and when I got to the bottom I did a backflip as well and you, you missed it all so sorry about that um, so yeah uh, I got back to my brother's had a shower and I'm just at Tesco now I'm gonna get something to eat for tonight and I know exactly where I'm gonna be parking so Stay tuned and I'll tell you where that's going to be. Ooh, double sleeping bag. Okie dokie, I've got some food for tonight. And my next destination, you've probably seen it on the thumbnail already, so you know exactly where it's going to be. <laughs> Got a really big close up of my forehead then. There's Axe coughing. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so as you've probably seen then by the, uh, the thumbnail that I'll likely use, will be a picture of me van outside screw fix, so that's where I'm heading now. Hello, hello! He's not really been well at all this week. You can hear him coughing a little bit now. His nose is running. Yeah, he's really not doing well. Um, I even took Sunday off work so I could be with him all day because he was coughing so much and I was like 50-50 whether I was going to take him to the vet or not. Anyway, I stayed with him all day. Uh, by the end of the day, I'd not decided to take him to the vet. Uh, but he, and he has got better, but slowly. He's getting better slowly. But he's, he's, he's an old man now. He's thinking in, in uh, dog years or human years, however you call it. He's like in his 70s, so he's 12 now. So yeah, he's, he's taking some getting over. But he's getting better, which is good. Anyway, I'm going to set off. It's literally a two minute drive 
isn't it? Yeah, hey, you good boy, you are. And the good, th well, the good thing, like, and he's been poorly and it's not nice, but like a bonus though, is that like, he's so loving at the moment, because it's not usually, I have to steal kisses from him and hugs. Uh, but just lately, because he's not well, it's all he's wanted to do is be on me, isn't it? Look. <laughs> and, and, and this isn't like Zach at all, really. He'll sit on your knee, but it, it, you don't get these hugs like this. Tool station, Jewson, screw fix, yes electrical. We've got a bit of everything here. And these car parks are just not regulated at all. So yeah, here's screw fix. So the lights are all switched off now and it looks like the cleaner's just getting in her husband's car and he's gonna take her home. So, it means I've probably now got the full car park to myself. And, yeah. I'll give the engine a run in a little bit, actually. Because... We're, we're at 12.3. I've had the fridge on for the last couple of hours. Can't really see me there, can you? <laughs> yeah, I've had the uh, fridge on for the last couple of hours, so it's taken the battery power right down. So when that car's left, I'll uh, I'll start everything up and we'll get all the lights on and we'll get cracking. And I also, I'm hungry as well, so start making something to eat. Oh wait, one car leaves, another one pulls in. <laughs> well, I thought we were going to get the car parked to ourselves. Clearly not. Now they're out of here. That's strange. Pulled up to those two vans on the left there, flashed them, and now he's leaving. Okay then. <coughs> so. The bed's made, and it's cosy, isn't it? Ugh. So I've got everything set up in here. All that's left to do is for me to get my pyjamas on now. I'm desperate to get my pyjamas on. Uh, when I was falling over earlier, I, I were actually falling into nettles and thorns, and my shins are just like tingling and throbbing, so I'm gonna get my pyjamas on and get comfortable. And I'm gonna put the TV on, watch a bit of TV, and then I'm gonna cook. Uh, for some food for tonight. <clears throat> and I kind of wanted to do something I've not really done before. Um, so I have done pizza before, but tonight I felt like doing a pizza and pie night. So tonight it's going to be pizza and pie. Uh, but I'm not going to be making them from scratch. I've, I've literally bought them um, like ready to cook. So I'll also be using it in the uh, the NGT Ridge Monkey um, grill oven. I was going to use the big oven, but not tonight. I'm, I'm I'm really enjoying using this little gadget at the moment. Honest, honestly, I think I use it for most meals now. And in fact, since I went to the last thing, the last time I used that big oven was when I made the pizza. I think when I went to maybe it was the railway museum, and I've not. I've not used it since, uh, not even when I've not been filming, I've, I've not used the oven at all. I've been using the little one um, and just getting getting the hang of it really and getting used to it. So yeah, I'm going to get my pyjamas on and everything and then make a start on, on tonight's meal, definitely. And then we'll have a quick walk around the car park uh, before I go to sleep. Right, so I've actually been playing Daisy for quite a while with the lads. Uh, but it, I'm off that now and it's time to make something to eat and it's time to get the pizzas out and the pies 
that we bought earlier on. There we go. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they fit in together, but I mean, I think this is going to be quite tricky to do. Um, because obviously I'm not going to be able to know what the temperature is, so I'm kind of just playing it by ear, and I'm just hoping as well that they all fit in together. Um, so this one says 200 degrees, so it's quite hot, 40 minutes, 190 for 22 minutes. So these are going to need to go in for about 10 minutes and then these go in. Oh, that'll fit in good. And then we'll just set an alarm for 10 minutes time. I think I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Just total guesswork at this point. You're a good boy. Thank you. on this side great so time to set another timer now for 20 minutes I think but I'll keep checking in between okay So yeah, everything pretty much looks exactly as it did. Some of the lights are switched off though now. Um, the van actually, even though the blinds aren't great, it doesn't stand out like there's lots of lights on. This is getting blown around a lot, it's quite, the wind's picked up. To be fair, like I was worried you could see the TV very easily, but even then you can't, I mean, if you look really closely you can, but once you get a bit further away, this looks like a van parked up. Get back in anyway, it's a little bit chilly tonight. So let's have a let's have another look now. It smells actually like it's cooked. So ah, brilliant. Okay, the pizza I think is done. Let me just check the actual. Yeah, definitely done. Uh, obviously the pie's not though, so we just need to give the pie a little bit longer. But I'm pretty sure this pizza is okay. okay. I just hope the bottom's not burnt. So let's just check that bottom. Oh, oh, <laughs> the cheese all fell out. Look, let's give this a quick try. Hot. So it probably would have been better maybe if I'd have folded it a sheet of uh, tin foil a couple of times and put it on the base just so that the pizza wasn't directly touching the bottom of the I'll have to try it again because I've got another pizza left I'll have to try it with the uh, tin foil next time all oh, right so it's been about another 10 minutes now it's talking about 40 minutes probably in total and I would 
probably say it still needs a little bit longer, but honestly, I just want to have it now. And I'm not sure that the bottom's good either. The bottom might be burnt. Right, so it's cooled down now enough to eat, so give it a quick try. Mmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> and done it in a done it in one of those Ridge Monkey style grills, oven grills, a pizza and a pie in one. Definitely though, the tin foil I think will work, so I'll try that another time. But anyway, I'm going to carry on eating this, and when that's gone, it's late now, uh, so I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to go to sleep. So, we shall see you in the morning, won't we? Hey? I'm not tired, tired. I just want to lick your yeah. plate. No, he's not tired, he wants pie. <laughs> Good morning. So I slept really, really good last night, uh, but I knew that it was going to be busy. Builders shouting and burping, and <laughs> slamming doors and putting tools in vans, and I knew it was going to be like this in the morning. So um, I did. I did get woken up quite early. Well, <laughs> I did, and then I went back to sleep. And but it happened a few times, and I just went back to sleep. It's like one of my superpowers, I can get woken up and just go back to sleep, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's half past nine now and I'm going to have a quick look around but I do need to go because I need to let the dogs out. Uh, obviously I can't let them out round here, the car park's really really busy. Also I feel bad as well because I'm like taking up a space and I can see people driving around, there's nowhere to for them to park. I can't believe how busy it is, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll let you have a look outside uh, and see what it looks like. Yeah, the car park's super busy. I don't think there's any empty spaces. I just noticed there's a car park right up there. In the distance. Maybe somewhere for the dogs to have a run around as well. So, I think I might just put my shoes on and drive over there and see what's happening whether I can park up there and then take the dogs up for a walk on that field, maybe. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I checked this little car park at the end and it does actually join up uh, to the main car park, so it's all the same car park really. And the spaces are full, but I've seen that you can just park on the road here, look. And there's a little walkway up to the fields that I could see. So, this is where I'm going to let the dogs out, I think, this morning. Let them have a little run and a sniff around. So yeah, I've never, never been here before, I don't even know where it goes, it might just go around the back to the warehouses, but this is where we are anyway.
dear, dear. Calm yourself. So, <laughs> she does this sometimes, but a little bit, never like that. But I think, Zach's obviously not been well, he's had a cough, he's had a bit of a cold, and I think Tia's probably going to be the same. Um, and maybe she's a bit snotty, I'm not sure. But, um... I'm going to carry her the rest of the way, we'll get her back to the van. Alright. Yeah. Okay then, well, it's probably where I'm going to end the video today then. We'll get her back and sorted out and warm. Good girl, are you? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll see you next week in a different location on Dean's Destination. I think next week I might be going to the Lake District, all being well. Um, so yeah, tune in next week to find out why I'm going there. So I'll see you next week in a different location on Dean's Destination. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.